Studio Podcast. Six days in San Francisco, six stories, 12 artists. <laughs> Studio Godcast. When Moses ascended to the heavens, he saw the letters of the Torah that he had received from God and given to the Jewish people. Each letter had been perfect and carefully crafted according to God's instructions. But now there was a crown on the letter Tzadzi he'd worked so hard on. And wasn't the letter Ayin perfect the way it was? Hey, God, what's going on here? Why are you attaching these things to our letters? God explained to Moses that these symbols were crowns. In the future, people would be building and expanding the text he'd received. Can you show me? Many years after your time, God said, there will come a man named Akiva ben Yosef who will be a great teacher to thousands of students. His lessons and insights will crown your words. In times to come, people will learn our laws and build on them. They will interpret them for the times and make sure they will last. Moses was confused. The students were learning a law that he did not recognize. What had become of his teaching? Rabbi, I'm confused about the source of this law. How do we know we're supposed to do it this way? Where does it come from? We learn this from the text in the Torah. It was given to Moses at Mount Sinai and passed down in oral tradition. It's our job to learn and expand it. Everything was rooted in those words given from God, and the law expanded with the crowns. So if there will be such a great teacher, why did you give the Torah to me? But God told him, be silent, for this is what I have decided. What a great teacher. He must have gotten such a wonderful reward. Master of the universe, such Torah and such a reward? But God told him, Be silent, for this is what I have decided. <laughs> <laughs>